Here we go. Uh, so minor deal today, uh, although it's an interesting one. Ole Mata, 26 years of age, now joins his third team. He went from Pittsburgh to Chicago, plays one year in Chicago. Now he's a member of the LA Kings. The Chicago Blackhawks get back a minor league player in Brad Morrison, who actually played for the Vancouver Giants. <clears throat> 23 years of age, and what Chicago gets that's just as important is out of this deal, $3,333,225 in cap space, according to Cap Friendly, because there was $750,000 retained by Chicago in this deal. So they pay three, three quarters of a million dollars until 2022 to have Mata's contract with the Kings. So the Kings pick up $3.3 .3 million and they pick up a defenseman that will help their depth. The LA Kings, of course, the offseason looking to improve their team, looking to get back in the hunt next season. 65 games played by Mata this year, four goals, 13 assists, 17 points. In his career, 427 games played, 29 goals, 95 assists, 124 points. He's not known for his offense. He can chip in points here and there, more for the defensive side of things. And uh, he only spent one year in Chicago. So entire career in Pittsburgh, spent last year with Chicago, and now he's a member of the Kings. So for the Hawks, they now have $11.1 million in cap space. They pick up a player who played for the Fort Wayne Comets in the East Coast League this past year. 17 games, 6 goals, 13 assists, 19 points, and Brad Morrison's listed as a center. But I don't think that this is a guy who's going to play for the Hawks next year. This is a matter of uh, getting that cap relief with Mata. And then they don't need to do a buyout. So if you're looking at it from this point of view as well, uh, that means that it's $750,000 on their books for the next two years, but they didn't have to buy Mata out. So I think this is a win-win situation. I'm wearing uh, the LA Kings jersey because I think overall you get the better player in a trade. I'm willing to, to say you probably won the deal, but I'm not saying Chicago lost the deal because they get that cap space. And at this time of year, cap space is gold. So maybe this means that they're trying to make a last-minute pitch towards keeping Corey Crawford. Maybe this means they're freeing up some, some space to sign somebody else in that, or they're just trying to free up some space going forward. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as always. If you're a Hawks fan, are you going to miss Mata or are you not? Are you more happy about the cap space? And if you're a Kings fan, how do you feel about the moves the Kings are making and how they look for next year? Uh, don't forget to let me know that in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I'll talk to you again soon.